Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and today we're going to take a look at recording and editing multi-camera clips in Final Cut Pro. Welcome back to my channel for another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Just a quick reminder before we get started. If you find these videos helpful, let me know by hitting the like button or subscribing to the channel. Now, let's jump right into Final Cut Pro and get started. To keep things simple, I recorded a short intro clip at the start of this video using two cameras and an external audio recorder. I have the clips imported into Final Cut Pro and labeled Cam 1, Cam 2, and Zoom Audio. Both my video clips have audio recorded with them using the camera's internal microphone. This is very important because we'll use the audio to synchronize these clips. First thing we need to do is create a multi-camera clip. Select your clips in the media browser by command clicking them. Right click on any of the selected clips and select new multicam clip. In the pop-up window, give your clip a name, select the event you want this clip in, and make sure the use audio for synchronization checkbox is selected. Click OK. Final Cut Pro creates a new clip with all the selected clips combined into one. If you double click on it, the multicam clip opens up in your timeline. As you can see, Final Cut Pro lined up all my clips by lining up the audio waveforms so all clips play at the same time. Press back to go back to your project window. Next, let's set up our space for multicam editing. Select your new multicam clip and drop it into your timeline. You can now close the media browser by pressing Ctrl Command 1 and close the inspector by pressing Command 4. In the menu bar, select View, Show and Viewer, and select Angles. Another window opens up in your viewer with all your available camera angles from your clip. If you click on the Settings drop-down menu, as you can see, you can display up to 16 different angles, but since I only have three, I'll leave mine at four. Up in the top left corner, you have three icons. The first one is for video and audio switching, so when you cut to a different angle, both your video and your audio switch to that clip. The other two icons are video only and audio only. Most of the time, you want your audio to be consistent throughout the clip and cut between video clips. To do this, set your playhead at the start of your clip, select the audio switching icon, and select the clip you want to use for your audio. The audio from this clip will play throughout this project. Next, select the video switching icon and select the video angle you want to start with. Down in your timeline, you can edit this multicam clip just like any other clip. For example, I have a blank part at the start of my clip, so to remove it, I can simply ripple trim the start of my clip. Now, to switch between camera angles, there's a couple ways to do it. The simplest method is to place a playhead where you want to cut to the next angle and hover over the camera angle you want to switch to in the viewer. The cursor turns to the blade tool icon to signify a cut is going to be made in your timeline. When you click on this angle, Final Cut Pro performs a cut in your timeline switching angles. And since we selected audio only switching, the audio stays the same and the video switches from one angle to the next. To adjust the exact point of your cut, move the cursor over the cut in your timeline. Your cursor switches to the trim tool icon. Click and drag the cut forward or back to adjust the exact point your camera angle switch. The viewer switches to a two up display to help you pick the correct point. The other method for changing camera angles is by playing back your video clip and live switching between angles using keyboard shortcuts. Use the numbers on your keyboard to switch to the corresponding angle, so you press number 1 for angle 1, number 2 for angle 2, and so on. Play back your video clip and use the number keys to switch angles in real time. Just like before, you can fine tune the cuts by clicking and dragging the cut between the two clips. This is a very fast and efficient way to cut a multicam clip, especially when you have a large number of camera angles. Alternately, instead of using keyboard shortcuts, you can just click on the camera angle in the viewer to live cut between camera angles as your video plays back. So, that's the basics of editing multicamera clips in Final Cut Pro. If you're interested in some of the more advanced multicam features, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next week.